Yes, the yes. Eggs, yes. Yeah. With the guard tower. Uh, very eggs. So this is the road in there, and I believe I was somewhere around here in the middle. Nearly 70 years after being held prisoner at Camp Grubar, Frank Mays returns to Oklahoma. It's, yes, that's 1943. That's quite correct. Frank was a German soldier during World War II when he was captured and brought to Gruber. Oh, I had a lot of fears we didn't know. He thought that there would be some punishment routine or, or some arduous thing that would be going on here, and he was amazed that they were treated so nicely. Patricia Power Simonelli hears all of her uncle's war stories, but what stands out most is the kindness he received as a prisoner of war on Sooner soil. And he was just so pleasantly surprised. On his 90th birthday, Frank decided it was time to return where he was held for more than a year. I had to come back again and say hello and thanks a lot. He was practically crying because he felt so nostalgic. The area has changed since the last time Frank was here. You see, the barracks are not there anymore. Pieces of brick, the only remaining part of the building he called home. While many things look different, some things are still the same. Now Frank actually helped to build this ditch right here, which is still standing nearly 70 years later. I had to work, that's okay, and we came back again. We had our food and we had our rest. Monuments and old pictures bring back memories. I was a prisoner, I never should forget it. But what he remembers more is the kindness he was given. As I said before, wonderful. Tiffany Tatro, Fox 25 News.